Hello and welcome to this week's Children's Liturgy. It's the third Sunday of Lent. Can anyone tell me what this is? I'll give you a clue. I went to the dentist last week. You're right, it's a dental tooth and it's for cleaning the gaps between our teeth. Because what can happen is bits of food can get stuck in there and it actually causes decay and makes your teeth go rotten. And I don't want to lose my teeth, do I? And I think that's a bit like today's gospel. Today's gospel is when Jesus goes down to the temple, the house of prayer, but he finds people aren't praying there to God, his father, to our father, but they're making money, they're selling things. And so what he does is he gets rid of everything in the temple that shouldn't be happening. He throws out the money makers and the stalls and things are selling. And he says, this should be a house of prayer. So let's listen to this week's gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Just before the Jewish Passover, Jesus went up to Jerusalem and in the temple he found people selling cattle and sheep and pigeons and the money changers sitting at their counters there. Making a whip out of some cord, he drove them all out of the temple, cattle and sheep as well, scattered the money changers' coins, knocked their tables over and said to the pigeon sellers, Take all this out of here and stop turning my father's house into a market. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. If I asked you who was the kindest or wisest person you know, I wonder who you would say. For me, I would think about my granny. My granny was a very old person, but she's a very wise person. Maybe because she'd lived so much, she always had a story to tell. Sometimes there were very long stories, but there was always a purpose or a meaning behind the story. And we've got our own grandparents. This is Granddad Jack and Granny Mariah. And they're full of wisdom and kindness, as Phoebe discovered this week, as you'll see from this video. Phoebe's been so busy doing her Lenten calendar. Does anyone want to help me do today's, she asks. But akinom has been to church with her dad and is now chatting. And Boris has decided he's going to write to James in Laughter Africa. And I don't know what Sean's doing, but he's very busy with that cushion. Oh, it's very hard doing it by myself all the time. I wish I hadn't started. And she goes outside. She's going to bury the calendar. I hate Lent. It's stupid. It's too hard. Ooh. A voice comes from above. It's Grandpa Jack. Ooh, that's a funny looking bone. Ooh, and that's an unhappy dog. What's up, Phoebe? And he flew down to see her. Ooh, Phoebe. It's not often we see you looking so upset. I guess it's something to do with what you're burying. Oh, said Phoebe. It's my Lenten calendar. I've been trying to keep it, but it's too hard. And she starts to cry. Oh, Phoebe. It makes me sad to see you sad as he picks out the leaves and the twigs she's now covered in. You think Lent is supposed to be something that's helpful? Well, it has been helpful, but I just don't think it's fair that I'm working so hard compared to everyone else. Akinom spending extra time praying with her dad, but then they do something nice afterwards. And Boris has got so interested in Laughter Africa that he writes them letters. And Sean, he might have given up sweets, but he's just storing them up so he can eat them at Easter. Ooh, 
Ooh, said Grandpa Jack. Can I just ask though, why are you doing anything for Lent at all? Oh, I want to get ready for Easter because it's so important. I just didn't realise it was going to be so hard. Ooh, which ones do you find hard? Maybe I can help you. It's not that they're hard to do. It's just hard to have to do it every day. Ooh. And hard that you're doing it by yourself. That's right, isn't it? Asked Grandpa Jack. Well, why don't I do it with you? And me? Oh, Granny Mariah. I wondered where you were. I've been listening to it all. And I think, Phoebe, you are brilliant for doing it. And I would love to do it with you. We should do it as a family. I love family. And she flew down and gave him a big hug. And a sloppy owl kiss. Yes, that's what we're going to do. We'll do it together. And look, it says Sunday's one is go for a family walk. Well... Well, in your case, laughed Phoebe, it's a family fly. Exactly, Phoebe. You are a clever dog. Almost as clever as an owl. <laughs> so how are we going to pray? Well, do you know when we pray, we normally put our hands together like this. Well, today we're going to put our hands together like this. Oh, that's a bit more difficult, isn't it? It feels a bit more uncomfortable. But sometimes we have to ask God to help us with the things that we find difficult, the things that we find uncomfortable. We have to ask him to help us to change, to create a clean heart. Just like the tooth cleans between the teeth, we want God to clean our hearts of the things that perhaps stop us from being as happy as we can be or making other people as happy as they can. So should we pray? Okay, let's name the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's put our hands together. And let's think about anything that maybe you do, that you know you shouldn't do, that you find it hard. Or maybe other things that other people do that make you sad. And we're just knowing and believing and trusting that God is with us, even in the difficult times. That Jesus is as close to us in the difficult times as he is in the good times. And we say, dear Jesus, we ask that you would get into those places in our lives where perhaps we're unhappy, where things aren't right. And we ask that you would put us together and bring us peace. May we know that we belong to you in the good and the bad. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we're going to finish with a song that I think is perfect for Lent, which says, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and let me be like you in all my ways. It's a really easy song, so just join in and make it your prayer too. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God. Let me be like you in all my ways. Give me your strength, teach me your song. Shelter me in the shadow of your wings, for we are your righteousness. If we die to ourselves and live through your death, we shall be born again to be blessed in your love. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God. 
let me be like you in all my ways. Give me your strength, teach me your song, shelter me in the shadow of your wings. For we are your righteousness. If we die to ourselves and live through your death, we shall be born again to be blessed in your A clean heart, O oh God, let me be like you in all my ways. Give me your strength, teach me your song, shelter me in the shadow of your wings. For we are yours. If we die to ourselves and live through your death, we shall be born and to be blessed in your love. We shall 